you guys what's up we're gonna do a pick a card today i really want you to pick from the images that's going to be on the screen but if you open it and you see these pals you could pick from either one those pals or these pals so pal number one i'm not going to show you the um the cover but you could pick from the card so this is pal number one this is the card pal number two this is the card I'm going to show you better views when I put it, when I come back, because the lighting is not good. This is pile number three. So you guys pick your pile and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys are back. Now, if you see any smoke billowing, it's my sage. I also smoke weed, but this is my sage billowing. I have it here to protect and clear my energy. So again, pile one. Pile two. Pile three. Look at a timestamp for this. The message box will have it as well. And forgive me for my nails. I'm getting them done tomorrow. I normally don't apologize for my nails, but yeah, they look a little atrocious. So, um, the music that you hear, I don't have any copyrights to it. Thank you, you guys who have subscribed thus far. And thank you, you guys who have come through and viewed my content and left me likes or who have interact with me. I appreciate you guys. So today the reading is going to be, what are you calling in for this holiday season? A lesson or a blessing? So gatekeepers, what is power one calling in? What is power one calling in? Will it be a lesson? Will it be a lesson or a blessing? That was the king, I mean, um, knight of swords. Somebody want to run in and argue with you, it seems like. What is power one calling in for this new year? A lesson or a blessing, gatekeepers? Can I have another card? Thank you. That's enough cards. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. You have the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the High Priestess. You have the Hermit. You have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Six of Wands. The bottom of the deck. You have the Six of Swords. The top of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. So I will use that as the overall energy. Okay, so are you calling in a lesson or a blessing? Thus far, I would like to start out and say, you guys, the High Priestess is here. The High Priestess is a Pisces card. The High Priestess is all-knowing. She knows everything. She says nothing. She also could be a scientist. She knows how to manipulate energy, good or bad. So... You guys, you should know if you're calling in a lesson or a blessing. But maybe you don't know. So I'm here to help you with that. So you have the Seven of Pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. You, um, um, the Seven of, um, Seven of Pentacles could be somebody who's slowly working on something, patiently waiting for their manifestations to come true. They slowly stock in their money. They slowly build their money. It also can be somebody stealing money. Now, below that, you have the Hermit. So the flip side of a Pisces is a Virgo. This is a Virgo. So between a high price, the High Priestess here and the Hermit, you guys are very spiritual and you're very strong energetically. I don't know if you know this or not, but you're a very strong person. I mean, you can manifest stuff. So the Hermit here is somebody that goes within and try to, you see that little lamp there? He's looking for the light. He's trying to go within, clear his mind, and try to listen to his higher self. It's a lot of clouds around him. It's like a lot of darkness. But do you see a light like this clearing in the sky behind him? So it looks like you guys are trying to manifest some money. Or you looking in ways to manifest money. But then you have the Queen of Pentacles in a reverse. This is not a good energy. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse does anything for money. She's not stable or he. Remember, energy can go both ways, male or female. Take what belongs to you, leave the rest. But this is a reading of what you're calling in. So it's not like your friends talking about you or karma. Not, this is what you're calling in. So you guys, that's in this energy, and it's a lot of um, pentacles on this, um, on this, in this reading. So I'm pretty sure you are an earth or a water sign or strong prominent positions in your chart is earth and water so queen of pentacles upright very grounded very structured 
very serious about their money, nice business deals. This person is a person that's seen in the public, the public eye. You know, they come across as very opulent. When they in reverse, this person is not balanced. They would do anything for money. They not grounded. A lot of times people don't want to work with them. But they're on the, below that, as you can see the cards below that, you have the page of pentacles. Another Virgo, Cancer, Capricorn. I mean, flip side of a Capricorn is a Cancer. So you could be a Cancer. But this is a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. This is a young person. Or if it's not a young person, this is a person that's very new to invest investing money. Or it could be somebody looking to invest money. So this earth energy, I'm sure, is you. So it looks like you have, um, you have your eyes on investing money, but not in the right way. Because the, the page of pentacles is looking at the six of wands. The six of wands is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who likes to be praised. Someone who is seen in a community as a good leader, a good person. Normally, this is a person in, in old tarot, in a original cards, someone coming in from battle. And everybody is in per, it's a parade for them. And everyone is like cheering them on and congratulating them and everything. But this page of pentacles is watching someone. You guys are watching someone being praised. And I'm not sure if you too happy about this or are you trying to figure out how could you get on this person's level now it's quite the way these cards are um escalating or graduating it's like exiting left so let me say this the six of swords this is libra gemini or aquarius this is someone who's moving at a uh moving to a calmer place a path of least resistance. Someone who's traveling could be a body of water you're traveling to. It could be you, you're moving. Definitely you're moving. So in between the hermit and the six of swords. I'm going to have to get some more energy. Because the six of wands and the six of swords. Yes, they are traveling. But these energies are contradicting one another. Even though it's like this. When I put it down, you're going to see. So it's contradicting one another. These are two different energies. Or maybe people... Um, I was going to say maybe people are praising you and all of that. And you don't want to have no, no dealings with that. You're turning your back on it. Because you went from... This is the past. Going from looking within... To someone who wanting to start a business venture. To someone being praised. To somebody moving on to karma um, sh um, waters. The Six of Swords is on top of the High Priestess. Which is the Pisces card. The All-Knowing card. The Ace of Wands is on top of the Six of Wands. This is a very passionate card. This person is a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. They're very passionate. They're very creative. They love ventures. They like to travel. They like adventures. They like spontaneous adventures. They love to have sex as well. This is a very creative, passionate person. Let me see something. Because this this um this person that's being praised seemed like he's moving on. This doesn't make sense. This are you calling on all right? The overall um energy is a ten of cups. So it seems like you are calling in a blessing. It's not a lesson you call it in. It's a blessing. But I'm going to try to find out more energy about this blessing. And it's a um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces card. Normally Pisces energy. Okay, where am I going to start? What's going on with the Seven of Pentacles, gatekeepers? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Four of Wands. Something is going on with somebody's structure, somebody's foundation. Somebody's happy foundation. Somebody is patiently taking time with this, this foundation. Maybe you're working on a new foundation. You're working on a new relationship. And you want to make sure that it is grounded and it is loving and nurturing. Or it could be a project that you're doing the same thing. Four Wands is the same thing. It's um fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, gatekeepers? For power one. Put them... Because the Knight of Swords, impulsive energy, impulsive, 
this is a Li Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is very impulsive energy, very young, impulsive energy. So like I said, the Queen of Pentacles, you guys, you, you wanna, you, you're, you're not in the right energy. You want to call in the Ten of Cups, but right now it seems like, who, who is this Knight of Swords? Who is this Knight of Swords? And do they have any effects on the Queen of Pentacles being in reverse? It's the Knight of Wands. Someone that's very passionate, somebody very fiery, someone that's very lustful. So that's who the Queen of Pentacles is for you guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to really clap, like, and the a, and a Knight of Pentacles is going towards the Ace of, um, of Ace of Wands. No, I said, I said the Knight of Pentacles. Pardon me for that. Scratch that. It's the Knight of Wands going to the Ace of Wands. So if a Knight of Wands is traveling to the Ace of Wands, this person is traveling to more fiery, impulsive creativity just like themselves. Why is the Six of Swords here for Power One Gatekeepers? Whether they're calling it a lesson or a blessing. Why is the Six of Swords here? If the overall energy is Ten of Cups and then um, you call it the Water Uber and you're trying to head out, you are definitely looking for a blessing. There seems like a blessing is trying to come into you, but you're not realizing it or you're bored with it. You don't want it. Or this person could be this fiery person, the Knight of Wands and Ace of Wands. And what I'm saying is the truth because the Aces are the truth. They're trying to force something onto you. See that cup being forced on you? It could be a blessing. The universe trying to give you a blessing and you bored. You're not even realizing you're getting a blessing. Or this person is probably trying to force something on you. And this is why you call it the Water Uber and you're trying to exit the scene. Who is this um, Six of Wands for Power One? The Star or Aquarius Energy. Someone that's a visionary. Someone that's balancing themselves. Someone that's stuck in their emotions too. Because you see this person sitting in their emotions. They're trying to emotion, balance their emotions. Why is this person balancing their emotions? Because of the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're calling in money. You're moving to karma grounds because you're calling in money. You're calling in money. So you are definitely calling in a blessing, not a lesson. What's the hermit card here for? And I'm going to end this because the high priest is there. I don't need to clarify her. I already told you what she's about, her energy is about. Why is the high priest, the hermit is here? Well, you could clarify that both of them. The empress and the devil. So, <laughs> I would... <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing because this is funny. I, I want to clarify both of them and two cards came out. So I will put the um the devil with the Virgo. And I'll put the Empress with the um um with the high priestess, because that's what it's calling on me to do. Now with the hermit and the devil, it seemed like you're trying to um trying to look at your your vices, your toxicity, anything that has a, a, a hold on you and you bound it to. It's like you looking and you you trying to look into that and a devil could be very creative too but you trying to trying to look inside yourself and with your demons the pre the empress and the the high priestess this is beautiful energy right here the empress is a libra taurus energy there's no one higher than the empress the empress embodies all four queens in one she's fertile she's nurturing she's prosperous She's just balanced and creative and she's the bee's knees. She's the best thing since sliced bread. That's all I can say. She is. So you guys is definitely, yeah, y'all being very creative. And you see this Venus um, symbol she's holding, very Venusian, very creative, very loving, very nurturing. You calling in a blessing. But why is the devil here? And then I'm really going to end this because I like to really get the info. Why is the devil here for power one gatekeepers? The knight of cups, somebody coming in impulsive. What a love offer. Somebody that's Tony Romance, you know, just want to wine and dine you, but coming in for not a long time, but a short time. But they're going to come in. They're trying to stop you. they on your path. they right behind you, if you can see it. The Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, I mean Six of Swords, the Uber, the Water Uber. You see this, this card, like you bought a forceful offer? This person is right on your heels. So don't be a fool. Keep going. Don't turn back. Do not turn back. And look, the Ace of Cups is right there. You're manifesting a blessing, not a lesson. Don't turn back. If you've gotten something from this, I would appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Till next time.
How to, you're up. Look in the detail box for the timestamp. If I smoke, pull up and smoke with me. If you drink, kick up your feet with your drink. This reading is about what are you calling in for this new year? A lesson or a blessing? Gatekeepers, what are they calling in? A lesson or a blessing? How to? You have the magician in reverse, boy. Can I have any more energy? You have the four wands. Can you give me any more energy? What are they calling in? A lesson or a blessing. How many cards? Okay. You're calling in a lesson. It's not a blessing. This doesn't look like a blessing. One more card. Whether they're calling in a lesson or a blessing. Oh, shit. The hell? This one the bottom, the world. This still, why I use this as, no. Um, you guys, shit. You have the tree of life, which is the world, um, the tree of life is basically a person who has learned all less, all their lessons. But that's on the top. On the bottom, you have the empress. Someone that's very fertile and nurturing and loving. Okay, so are you calling in, I'm lighting my sage again, so if you're going to see smoke, if you see smoke, that's what it is, I'm lighting my sage. So if you're calling in a lesson or a blessing right now, you have the, yep, ten of cups in reverse. This is Pisces energy. You have Pisces and Mars. Or you could be a Pisces. Pisces energy. So the Ten of Cups is in reverse. This is not anything happy. This is a happy home turning on its head, basically. You're losing money. There's no love here. There's no nurturing here. There's no understanding here. On the bottom of that, you have the Magician in reverse. The magician in reverse is Gemini energy. To me, I call it Gemini. I, I think it's Gemini energy. And I don't just think it. I'm into zodiacs and tarot and energy and all that. So the magician is in reverse. Let's talk about that. The magician in reverse is not good. You're manifesting disasters. You are. There's nothing good coming from a magician in reverse. And you don't have to know about tarot to know that. To know that. You know, if a magician is in reverse, that's not good. You also have the tower here. Tower is Scorpio energy. A tower is bringing down foundations, structures, beliefs, um, marriages, any cultural or um, what I say, um, institutions is coming down. It's going to be rebuilt. The four wands here, again, is for a stable structure, a home. Four wands is here. But the four wands is here, but there's no love here with this four wands. And there's a tower moment here. This right here is Aries energy, but it could be Sagittarius, and it also can be um, Leo energy. But it's, this, it's Sagittarius, I mean... Oh my goodness, this is this energy is intense. Okay, let's get focused. This is an Aries card. It could be a person who has Aries and Venus, but it's an Aries card. It has to do with foundations. It has to do with um, being grounded, being, um, being creative as well. Knowing when to use your creative energy. Being impulsive, knowing when to be impulsive. Being fiery, knowing when to be fiery. That's the four wands because it's, it's about structure. It's about, you know, grounding things, even though it's fire. But you have to ground your ideas. You know, ideas come from creativity. Creativity comes from fire. You need fire for creativity. That's why Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. they the ones that are born first. They strike fire first. That's why air, um, air, I mean, 
fire and air signs is important to the world. We all important, but fire, we need fire. You need fire. But this is this is a tower. And this magician is in reverse and a um, ten of cups in reverse. So so far you this is a um a lesson that's gonna be learned. You have a Libra energy here, the two of swords. Whoever is going through this, you guys made a decision about whatever this is, because you are going in within yourself. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is Virgo energy right here. You have gone within. You have come up with decisions. Your blindfolds, look at the blindfolds. You see I was covering her eyes? You looking at intuition. This is all intuition you delving with. Intuition. And you know that something is not right here. And you have the two of wands here. More Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. An Aries card. It could be an Aries and Mars. You know that what you're doing... Going in the past, moving in the past, it's not working. Moving in the future, it seems like you're trying to get your energy balanced to, to get it together to have a blessing come in. This is right here. Is I, you have two avenues to go in. You have two doors to walk in. A fiery door or an air door of thinking logically. Or you can move impulsively. Which one you want to do. But if you blend the two together. Because the opposite of an air sign is a fire sign. If you blend both of your energies together. You can manifest anything. But air signs are visionaries. They're very fast. I mean forward thinking. Very forward thinking. You have the knight of wands right here. Leo. Why my brain just went poor. Leo. Um, Aries and. Sagittarius, I don't know why my brain just went blank, but this um, Knight of Wands is coming towards this person that's in a Two of Swords. Look, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that's a fire sign or an air sign like you, because this is opposite energies right here. So this person is coming to you with an offer, a creative offer, an impulsive, fiery offer. It could be a, a sexual offer, because this is what this card is indicative of. They love to have sex. This person on this... This Knight of Wands, they pollinate trees. They love that. This is what they do. And it's on top of the Two of Wands. So the two, look at it. It's just like this. This is a very impulsive, fiery, sexual, creative person that like to have ventures and stuff like this. The world is here. The world indicative to me. And 222 was just on the clock, as I said that. So maybe you could um Google it or something. Or maybe you've been seeing that number, but Google it. The world is here. You've gone through all these lessons already. Fire. Earth. Water and air. You've been through all these cycles before. You know better than this. So I'm pretty sure this is why you have the um the star in reverse. You could be a star, actual star, or you could be Aquarius. But you have to bring yourself upright. You in reverse. You have to bring yourself upright. Because a visionary in reverse is not a good thing. And then a magician is in reverse. And then the Ten of Cups is in reverse. Then you have the Tower. No, this, something has to give here. And moving into the future, it seems like you still see that moment. What I'm saying is true. Moving into the future, it seems like you learned these lessons, but you're trying to balance yourself. And it's not kind of working. You have the hermit here. I'm not saying you're not working. The person who's trying to manifest a better, a better life you're doing your due diligence because you are the hermit and you're the two of swords trying to go within. And you have other options. You know that. You're trying to manifest this. But this impulsive person that's heading your way, that's in a, a, a visionary in a reverse and a knight of wands upright, this person is toxic, 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 toxic. Let me see something. Where the cards go? Because I just got kebab. <laughs> Boy. What does this um, two of swords and this hermit energy look the ace of wands what i'm saying is true this person is very animalistic very fiery very impulsive ve ooh, ooh. Jesus. what does the um hermit and the two of swords energy need to do to manifest something good for this new year coming up what do they need to do you need to have faith and you need to come in with love Stop delving in all of this logic. Too much logic. Too much. It says the palace of swords. You think it too much. It's too much logic. You have the two of swords. Too much logic. Start using your intuition and using more cup energy. Love. Bring love to the situation and have faith. If you have gotten anything from this, you guys, I'd appreciate it if you could like or subscribe.
Until next time. Pow three, you're up. Look in a timestamp. Look in a timestamp. I always say that. It makes no sense. <laughs> it just makes no sense. Look in the description box for the timestamp. It's going to be in the message um, section as well. Okay? So you up. I hope my sage not bothering you. Are you calling in a lesson? Or are you calling... Whoa. Are you calling in a lesson or are you calling in a blessing? For the new year coming. Pal 3 calling in a lesson or are they calling in a blessing, gatekeepers? If you've been drawn to any other plows, please go. Because these cards are coming out in all these plows. Yeah. Lesson or blessing, gatekeepers, for power three. Two more cards if possible. Are they calling in a lesson? Are they calling in a blessing? Gatekeepers. The six of um, pentacles going to come out, even give and take. The page of swords going to come out. Okay. So you guys, you have the lovers. You have the queen of swords. You have the page of wands. You have the Eight of Swords, and then you have the Fool. I don't have copyright in the music, if you can hear it. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands. So I'm going to take it. On the top of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. I'm going to take it. Then I'm going to cut it. I'm called, I've never done this before, but I'm just called to do this. And the overall energy is the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So, are you guys calling in a lesson or a blessing? Let me tell you what cards you have here. For the overall energy, you have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is someone that's feeling down on themselves. This is someone who feels lack-minded. Someone who's been left out in the cold. And even though there's a key here to open this lock and go inside for help or some prosperity... You just not even looking up. You just down on yourself right now. So that's the overall energy for you right now. This the lovers is here, which is Gemini energy. This is either um choices indicative of you having choices, or this is a new passionate love. It also have the Queen of Swords below that, which is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Someone that's very logical, someone that's very smart. Someone that doesn't really delve in emotions all the time. She she takes her logic over anything. If it makes sense to her, it makes sense. She's not a person that's just going to say, you know, my feelings is this and disregard that. Remember, energy goes both ways. You could be a man, and I'm saying she, okay? You have the magician here, Gemini energy. It's a lot of Gemini energy here. You also have the fool here. You have the page of wands here. You have the Eight of Swords here. By the way, the eight, um, the Page of Wands is um, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This is Eight of Swords is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Two of Wands, Fire, Sagittarius, Gem. I'm um, Sagittarius. Flip side, Sagittarius, Gemini. So it could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. You have Sagittarius, you have Aries, and then you have Leo. Seven of Wands, the same thing. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. So on this whole scheme right here, I'm sure that you are fire sign or air sign. Because every card is fire or air. Besides, besides one card. And that's the overall energy. So you have to have some Taurus in you as well. Or Capricorn or Virgo because that's um, um, pentacle energy. So, overall, are you calling in a lesson or a blessing? You calling in a blessing. You calling in a blessing. Because, all right, you have the lovers. On the bottom of the lovers, you have somebody that's deep in thought. Whether it's about a creative idea or a love. You, you in deep thought. You thinking about this. This was in the past. Even though the past could be last week. But moving forward to your next thoughts is the magician and the fool. Right here, this is very powerful energy. 
Because the fool is willing to just throw um, caution to the wind. Even though she have an amethyst and she's going to the higher ups. Because, you know, Geminis and Sagittarius, y'all very spiritual people, if you didn't notice. Y'all spiritual teachers. This is what y'all born to do. Y'all born to communicate. Y'all like a light workers. So this is very powerful energy right here. You're manifesting and then you're willing to be a fool to jump out there. You're just trying to go out this calculated. And then you have choices. So you're trying to think of logical choices to um to make. Then you also have the page of wands. The page of wands, all wands is truth. So what I'm saying is the truth. You have the page of wands. Somebody very fiery, creative, young spirited. You like adventures. Again, don't caution to the wind with your wand. Don't caution to the wind. Good energy. But then you caught up in your head with the eight of swords. And the eight of swords, you know, I don't know why you caught up in your head. What you thinking about? Because you bound it. You, you are really thinking about maybe it could be this creative um idea. Or it could maybe it could be the overall energy of you feeling lack and being left out. And now you have to manifest something new. That could be it too. But you're in your head. Now you have the two of wands here. Two of wands is somebody looking out. She have one wand in her hand. She have the world there. And then she actually have a picture. So you have an idea of what you're trying to manifest. And look at here. The same thing. Look, you're looking out, but you're manifesting it again. These wands is indicative of people trying to get your attention. You don't care about those. You're not letting people get your attention right now. You're manifesting. Again. You're not focusing on nobody. You're manifesting. You're not focused on nobody. You're deep in thought. You're manifesting, again, a relationship or creative ideas. So, yeah, you're manifesting a blessing. I don't know why you feel... Uh, uh, why is the eight of swords here, okay, keepers? Why is the um, power three feeling lack? Why is the eight of swords here in regards to the overall energy? Ten of pentacles, something going on with your house. And nine of swords, yeah. Something you're tormented by something going on with a lover or your home and being locked out of your home or kicked out of your home. You could be a male, could be a female, but yeah, that's why you, you burden. And there's a lot of partying going on right here. The Knight of Wands is impulsive, fiery party and energy. I don't know if it's, this is what caused it, but yeah, you have the nine of pentacles here. You have nothing but deep thoughts in your head, but you see that white, um, like a, a spirit animal or ancestor trying to talk to you, but you are hurt. You're really hurt. Maybe you kind of homeless. You got to sleep outside. I hope not. But you see the family is here and you have a child and everybody happy in the background. But this little kid is dividing y'all two. Like y'all arguing and they trying to bring, she's trying to bring happiness from the scene, you know. But y'all not happy right here. Yeah, look like y'all want to be happy, but it, the, it, some tension is here. Some tension is here, and I already said about the Knight of Wands. So if you have gotten something from this, you guys, I'd appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Till next time, take care.